Howdy ho my peeps. I'm uh, in the bathtub, obviously. I've got my three minute miracle mask in my hairs. All three of them. Um, I'm getting ready to go to a birthday party for my little friend um, Gordito. He is turning seven years old today, so we're going to have a big old fiesta at his house. I'm really excited. Um, my video content has been all I'll get you out of the sun has been all over the map lately very weird I haven't um, um, videoed anything to, for today really so what I'm going to do attached to the end of this intro is a recent haul I did I, I meant to put this up online and I never got around to it so um, yeah so you can see the stuff that I bought when I was at Dollar Tree and 99 cent store a few days ago. So, um, I hope you guys are all uh, doing well. Um, if you have a chance, go on over to Emily Pound's channel and check out her most recent video. It's her week 10 on keto. If any of you guys are doing keto and you're having trouble with, um, you know, making it through your first long plateau, um, you might want to go and, and take a look at her story. She's been... Um, really forthcoming with all the things that she's going through and it can be quite inspirational for any of you that are having having trouble with that interestingly enough her long plateau occurred at the same time my long plateau did back before i gained my weight back and i i i think i was about close to three weeks or four weeks on this plateau and you know just i just lost it and went back to you know, carbs and sugar and all that shit. So, anyhow, go and look at it. It's really interesting. And then also, uh, there's a guy who is a recent subscriber of mine. If you look down in the comments on, I think, my latest Dollar Tree meal, the, the apple tart one, you're going to see someone with, I, dang it, I can't remember what it is. It's it's letters, W, J, S, K, something, something. I'll link it down below. This guy's hilarious, and he does shower vlogging so <laughs> so yeah I have a kindred spirit in the bathroom vlogging so check out his channel too if you haven't he's real interesting and I'll link him down below I'll link I will link Emily's most recent uh, video as well so um love you guys see you later bye hi my peeps I'm surrounded by 99 cent and Dollar Tree stuff again today um so let's just get into it this is from 99 cent. I came up with an interesting idea to use this Texas toast in a upcoming three dollar uh, video. I got some more pepperoni because we just we just use it. I mean, it's it wasn't just for those videos. I mean, we actually use it. I make stuff for my family with it. Um, I also got more of the pot stickers. That's something else that's really popular here. Okay. You know that Silver State Brown Pepper Jack cheese that I love so much? I got five of them. <laughs> this should last us a while. <laughs> I also got a couple of <clears throat> packages of the string cheese, the mozzarella string cheese. I really like that. Um, more pot stickers. I think I ended up with four of the pot stickers. <coughs> I also got a um, one banquet Salisbury steak and macaroni and cheese dinner. Um, I was inspired by um, Jan Creason. She just did an interesting meal. Um, I want to do my version of the meal, a three dollar um, dinner version of her of her uh, recipe that she did. Um, I'll refer uh, back over to her recipe when I do it on my video so you can see what she did and then what I did that was a little different. So, um, that is the food from that bag. Um, I went nuts. I found these at 99 cent store. These wonderful glass jars with the hermetically sealing top at the top. I got three of them. Um, I'm going to put, um, tooth, you know those toothpicker thingies, I forgot what they're called, that have the toothpick and then the floss. I'm going to fill one of those with that. The other one is going to have Q-tips. 
And the third one will have something, I don't know what, something I use a lot. So I got three of those. And then I found these mason jars, um, decorative mason jars, in pink. I thought they were wonderful. They had seven at 99 cent store, and I bought all seven. I just thought they were beautiful. So I'm going to do something in my kitchen with that. Um, let's see. I can't remember. Are we Okay, I think we were at Dollar Tree. No, I think we were 99 cent. Uh, Grant found these Make Your PC Run Light New One Click Wind Cleaner. It cleans, optimizes, repairs, and protects your PC. So he got, I don't know, four or five of these. Um, that was that was 99 cent, but the rest of this, oh no, it was a Dollar Tree, he said. So yeah, so this was Dollar Tree. I found a book that looked really interesting called Black Moon by Kenneth Calhoun. And it, um, it looked real interesting, like something I would enjoy uh, reading. So I got that for myself. I got Mallory a new toy. Her chicken is about dead. So I got her a little fox. We'll see if she, we'll see if she can bond with her little fox. I also got three of these plastic egg carton things you can stack up in your refrigerator. They have lids as well. You know, um, so many of the eggs that we use come from our ducks or they come from the chickens that live across the way. So um, instead of reusing old egg cartons, I wanted something a little sturdier. So I got these. This will take care of three dozen eggs. I also found... I, have, I keep wanting to buy these, I never do, so today I did. These cosmetic organizers, these clear acrylic cosmetic organizers. I figured they'd be good for cosmetics, they'd also be good for crafts. I'm always wanting to, you know, make up a little kit of something and go outside and work on a project. So I think these will be nice for that. Um, I found these wonderful hinged clips. Um, I guess they're like a, they're a multi-purpose clip in these colors. I've got craft projects coming up. I'm going to need to be able to clamp things, and I think this will work really well. I also got some pencil bags. Of course, couldn't resist. It had rainbow unicorns on it. Um, these are the tops for the egg cartons. And then down here in the bottom of this bag is a whole mess of makeup because someone suggested that I do a um, a Dollar Tree makeup they said tutorial which is hilarious because I know like this much about makeup when you get right down to it but I thought it would be fun so I bought some makeup and I'll do a makeup a get ready with me Dollar Tree makeup video one of these days soon okay also when I was at 99 cent I found for three dollars and ninety-nine cents, so four bucks basically, um, this set of microfiber twin sheets. Now I bought these for my ex-husband. Um, my ex-husband's a trip. I need to do a whole series of videos on him. But he didn't. He's sleeping on a twin mattress, and he didn't have any um, sheets to go with it. He had other kinds of sheets, but I figured, you know, might as well start off with a set of sheets that actually fits the bed. So I got those for him. Um, and that was 99 cents. Now at Dollar Tree, I found a big old can of brown sugar bacon baked beans. I will make something interesting with that. I bought some more mushrooms. We use these on the pizza and also on the $3 meals. I bought um, a can of the beef stew. I've got a meal coming up that's going to use that. And then I bought five cans of this Y River cream of crab soup. That just looked wonderful. I have no idea where the crab comes from. I'm going to guess it comes from China. I'm not certain. Um, it's it, There's nothing on here that actually says where it comes from. Although it, um, it seems to suggest that it comes out of Maryland. So one way or another, I'm coming up with some recipes for this cream of crab soup. Um, when we were at dollar uh, 99 cent store, Grant got some uh, 
some chips. This is the sweet Maui onion, thin and crispy. And he really likes this, these pure growth organic, spicy Thai, uh, kind of rice cakey chips. These are really good, he enjoys those. We got another one of these things for cleaning out the toilet bowl. You know, every once in a while, every year or two, you gotta pull out one of these pumice stones and just scrape like crazy. So he's already gone through one of these and he's about halfway through with the job. So we got another one. For my friend Margie, who's decided she doesn't want to keep all her CDs in their jewel cases anymore, I picked up a, a couple of these CD holders so she can consolidate. I got some more of the lightly salted um, crispy jalapeno um, pieces. These things are so good in any meal just to spice it up. And you know, you can get about three meals out of this because they're very tasty. You can really, you can taste the jalapeno. So you don't have to overdo it. Also at 99 cent, I found this Bitronics Gear Universal Car Mount for, um, for my cell phone. And it's one of those things that has the, the suction cup here and you're supposed to stick it on the window. So we shall see how that works. I found the cutest little boxes. I got two of them. Um, this is the big one and there's a smaller one. This was at 99 cent. I just thought those were real cute. Um, put it in the bathroom and keep, I don't know, like razors or different things that are small that you usually keep several of. Um, so that'll be for that. I found um, a six foot USB data cable extension and a bunch of these ProLink uh, Pro USB to micro USB um, phone charger cords. I bought five of them in different colors. Okay, this is the cool, this is the coolest thing I found so far. I think this is so neat. These are those um, mobile phone rings, you know, you, you, it, it uh, gl glues to the back of your phone and it's got a ring so that you can use it to, to sit your phone up on the table. You can put your finger in it to hold on to your phone if you're worried about dropping it. It's just kind of a cool little thing. Well, they came in a bunch of different styles. I think I bought one of each one. This one is a little fox. This one is a mouse. And this one is a crown. And I think I've also got a, um, like a little, uh, a bow, a little bow. I just thought these were really, really neat. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that many of them. I think it's about, yo, oh, I know. Okay, so I finally hit 5,000 subscribers. I think I was 5,001 today. So I think I need to do a 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So I'm going to put something together. I'm probably going to include, you know, at least one of those little phone rings and several other funky things and do a giveaway. So that will be in an upcoming video. But go Team Coyote. We're at 5,000. Yay. Um, so then when I was at Dollar Tree, I found some... No, I'm lying to you. This is 99 cent store. Here's the Cheddar Jack. The Cheddar Jack was $1.99. I found this big thick thing of honey ham, $99. This is kind of interesting. This was new. This is from the uh, United, United Kingdom. It's a, um, a spicy Spanish style rice. It's already cooked. All you have to do is microwave it. And I thought that was interesting. I can incorporate that into a $3 meal. I got a couple boxes of macaroni and cheese because it's an easy, quick thing my son can make for himself. I found the Progresso Garden Vegetable Soup at 99 cent store. I bought four or five cans of that. I also found at 99 cent the, uh, the Jumbo Biscuits. I was hoping they'd have these biscuits at Dollar Tree. They didn't, not at our Dollar Tree. So I did pick them up at 99 cent. I've got a video coming, upcoming with these. And then, I don't know how to pronounce this. Neuf Chateau? I don't know. Anyway, it's this this style of cream cheese. You'd think I'd know how to pronounce it, but I don't. Neuf, neuf Chateau. I don't know. Whatever. Somebody correct my pronunciation on this. So, is that about cover? Oh, no. I've got three more bags. Oh, my gosh. 
Let me grab them. Okay. I'm drowning. Um, I got, so I told you I got two of these for my friend Margie for her CDs. Um, more of the macaroni and cheese. Where got this thing? It's called, it's a Target's Wi-Fi Scout Hotspot Locator. Locates Wi-Fi signals without using a computer, up to 164 foot detection range. Indicates wireless signal strength. So, he found this at 99 cent. I have no idea how much it was. I'm assuming it was 99. Oh, it was, 99. It was Okay, it was 99 because it isn't marked another price. Usually, if you're paying more than 99 cents at 99 cent store, it's going to be marked on it. So, this was 99. Um, oh, yeah, here's my other little phone thingy. It's a little uh, bow. little enamel bow. And what else? Here's a high definition multimedia interface HDMI cable for $1.99. That's also grass. Nine foot long. That's nine feet long. And here's my other smaller little bathroom junk box. Okay, and everything else that's in there is duplicate. You've already seen two more bags. Oh, okay. Where was this? Oh, this was 99 cent store. Okay, I found these green onions. Um, these green onions and the ham and that cream cheese that I can't pronounce and some of the um, uh, jalapeno crackly things are going to go into ham roll-ups. I'm going to do another uh, ham roll-up um, lunch or snacky thing for tomorrow. So that's what, that's what the green onions are for. I didn't use them in my first ham roll-up video because I didn't have them. But really, to make it authentic, you need to use the green onions. I also got just a little bit of sunflower oil because I have a recipe coming up that requires this kind of oil. I don't normally use this. I normally use either coconut oil um, or butter or hemp oil. But um, I needed this. So, I mean, why buy a big, huge thing if you're not going to use it? Grant found some wonderful uh, lemonade by The Honest Company at 99 cents. And some mango lemonade. That looks wonderful. He was looking for his um, limeade, but they didn't have that. Okay. And one more bag. Okay, let's see what's in here. Let's see if I can do this without... See, I'm already knocking crap off the table. All right. More of these. I bought like five of these. Little um, phone chargers. Oh, I got some of the vegetable spring rolls. I thought that would be nice to keep in the, uh, the freezer for when my kid comes home late and is hungry. Um, Grant got some bananas. Pretty green bananas. No, 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 Seth. And let's see, is there anything in here that you haven't already seen? Oh, yeah. The last thing you haven't seen is this Hubert's Lemonade. It's blood orange flavored lemonade. And um, it's got decent ingredients. It doesn't, it, it uses cane sugar instead of um, uh, high fructose corn syrup. It does have some stevia in it, and then everything else is, you know, pretty pretty natural without citric acid is what it uses for its preservative. So it's pretty natural, pretty good, you know, um, ingredients in here. And I think these were two for ninety nine, right, honey? Uh, yes. They were. So Hubert's lemonade, only the best will do. I'm thinking about maybe getting some of these to bring to the memorial. Um, a week from Friday. All right, there you go. I'm I'm barricaded in, but I will figure out how to get out of here. So now I gotta go put it all away. Talk to you guys later.